quasi, non, and experimental research designs in criminology. The three major types of research design include quasi-experimental, non-experimental, and experimental formats. The former is similar to the experimental design, but the researcher does not have complete control over the assignment of subjects to the experimental or control group. Quasi-experimental designs are often used in field settings where random assignment is impossible. For non-experimental design, it involves the observation of variables without manipulation. Non-experimental designs include surveys, case studies, and observational studies. The goal of a non-experimental design is to establish a correlation between variables. Experimental research focuses on the manipulation of one or more variables to observe the effect on a dependent variable. The goal of experimental design is to establish cause and effect relationships between variables. There is a multitude of reasons why researchers might choose one design over another. Firstly, it is stated that experimental designs tend to present practical difficulties and ethical challenges or tend to oversimplify complex social processes, especially in criminology research. Secondly, resources might not be available to conduct fully experimental research. Thirdly, controlling the variables involving people and legal bodies might not be possible. Thus, although the experimental design is preferred, it has limitations, which is why quasi-experimental and non-experimental designs are often used. In criminology, experimental formats can create generalizability issues since they oversimplify complex social interactions. However, these designs tend to be more reliable due to consistency as well as more valid due to precision. Quasi-experimental and non-experimental designs need to take extra measures to ensure the accuracy of analysis and replicability of results to increase the quality of research.